Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 13. I don't know why I'm looking at it. I know what the day is. May 13th. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. I'm just basically going to do an RNG palm that I haven't done yet. Uh, I, before I start, though, I want to say something that Chef said in the other video. I'll, I'll, I'll do it again tomorrow anyway. Um, so it has come to my attention that on Discord and sometimes lead code to discussion forum, I don't know, or something like this. There are a couple of Larry imposters here. Uh, I am, I am, hello, I am Larry. Um, I'm not an imposter. I guess that's what an imposter would say too. Huh. But in any case, unless someone makes a very convincing AI video of me, which I guess is possible. There's a lot of my footage out there. Huh. Well, in any case, the real Larry will generally never ask you for money. I'm not going to be, you know, uh, uh, kidnapped or whatever. Well, not going to, but if I if I get kidnapped, I'm probably not asking you for money. I'm I would not ask you to invest in any crypto or any. I don't know, I'm not going to ask you to invest in anything. From time to time, there may be I would, uh, you know, as you know, for good reason. I might ask people to donate to a charity, a charity that you, you can Google and all these things. So, you know, don't take any links from me on, on that. Uh, I'm just saying it because, like I said, there have been people imposting me, imposter. I, I have Larry imposters out there and they're trying to scam my viewers. So please be careful. Like I said, I'm not going to ask you for money. I don't need your money for the most part. If you want to give me a lot of money, then okay, maybe. No, no, no. But for the most part, I would not ask you for money. I would never ask you to invest in anything particular. Uh, I mean, okay, the only thing I always say is invest in SPY or maybe uh, the equivalent VTI. Uh, it's not technically equivalent. I'm getting pedantic. But, you know, like the big index funds, that's the only thing. And I'm not asking you on behalf of me. I think it's just a smart move. All right, anyway. Not going to ask you to invest on anything for my benefit, and yeah, and I'm not going to ask you for anything about your your you know your background um, that doesn't come up organically. So don't share anything with me unless it's like on the like if you it's on the Discord and you see me and you see everyone responding to me, then that's me. Uh, but in general, I'm not going to ask you for anything uh, in a DM because I don't really read DMs because I get too many messages to be honest. Um, so I'm not going to DM you because I don't want people to DM me. Uh, just to be honest, but if you do on the server, I'll be there. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah, this is just a public service announcement. I just want to make it clear. So please, if if there's someone trying to pretend or whatever to be me, asking you for anything, just ignore them. All right. And if it's me, I'll ask. I don't know. If it's I, I don't know. I I'm not going to scam you, so it's fine. But yeah. Be careful out there, and let's take a look at this prompt. 453, minimum moves. This is a very weird way to start a video for sure. 453, minimum moves to equal array elements. Given an integer array nums of size n, we turn the minimum number of moves required to make all array elements equal. In one move, you can increment n minus 1 element of the array by 1. What does that mean? Only three moves are needed. Remember, each move increments two elements. Okay, so one move. Oh, move two. Do, 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 do. Right. Okay, so the so um, yeah, if you do it one at a time, it'll be too slow. But th there's another way to because the thing is that you're trying to make them equal, right? So what does that mean? What that means is that you can. It doesn't matter if you add or subtract. So there's some like equivalent e thing there, and if you increment n minus one, that means that you skip incrementing one element and what that is equivalent just subtracting one from that element right so that's basically the idea and because if you can subtract one from one element at a time and make them all equal then you just want to get them really to the minimum minimum element and that's really your answer right so that let's get to it right so min of nums so min is going to be this and then now for uh we have a total uh, and you could even write in one line, but I, I like to write it out for stream so that um, so that is a little bit, you know, maybe easier to read. I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> I don't know. It matters that much. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, unless I was wrong, but luckily this time I'm not. So yeah, uh, this is going to be linear time, constant space. Pretty straightforward. I mean, I think the big 
uh, this is a good practice of a problem though to kind of think about how to look outside the box um, definitely um, you know if you try to do it the way they, they tell you maybe a little bit tricky but you have just think about that um, in this particular problem everything is relative and adding one to all the elements except for one is you go to subtracting one from one element and once you realize that then you know that to get to the same element or at least the minimum number of moves then you just get to the one with the fewest one right and because you don't have to change that one any other ones you have to change it by uh, another n or something like this right so yeah that's what i have for this one let me know what you think thanks for watching be careful stay good stay healthy to your mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye